and looking to pick up some new skills in 2022, how about martial arts Whoa. and self-defense? Oh. <laughs> you find out Sarah live and local at CF, NAF, martial arts and fitness, where she's, Look at put, her go. she's putting the mess and uh, don't mess with me for sure. There you go. Sarah, good, oh my gosh, Woo. don't yeah. pull something. Good morning. You've already been trained. You watch YouTube. <laughs> We yes. are getting ready to do some martial arts on, fitness, go. maybe a little dancing, a little jiving. <laughs> right now, joined right by Isaac Gosley. Thank you so much. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, Cobra Kai. All right. <laughs> and, uh, so tell us a little bit about CFMAF, Martial Arts and Fitness, and what you guys do. Well, we're Colorado's premier reality life arts center. It's not just about martial arts. It's about being able to apply the techniques in the real world. So we show things that aren't pretty, but they're pretty daggone effective for the real world. And so this is a very special circumstance that I'm wearing this today, correct? Absolutely. <laughs> no one, when you come into this, everything is earned, nothing is given, but today is a little benefit. We allowed you to have on the white belt. We don't even do that. When you come here, you have to train to even earn the white belt. You got to earn it. So yes. thank you for letting You're me wear this welcome. to look very the part welcome. today. <laughs> yes, yes. And so tell us a little bit about what we're seeing behind us right now. You know what the guys are doing now is they're working on an attack where someone is grabbing you. They're not pushing you yet. They're just grabbing your lapel as intimidation. So we're using what we call closest weapon closest target so they're going ahead and hitting the ears getting the person to think about the pain there then kicking them between the legs twisting that neck taking them to the ground and taking care of their breathing and really this is quick. a lot of work they are really in good shape because i'm already winded i only did this one time and not even full full <laughs> You know, the thing that we believe in is we have to introduce you to the concept mm -hmm. first, which is closest weapon, closest target, eyesight, breathing, balance. Then we start putting in the technique, and then we have to give you so many reps that you become tired, so it simulates you being jumped in the real world. Okay, so do we want to maybe just show yeah, kind of what show they're how doing we're here? we're going to do this here. Okay. Come on over. So here's what we're going to do. So when I grab you here, come here, girl. Well, my attention is right here, okay. so you're going to take your free hands and hit me in the ears. Okay. Ow. Now I'm thinking here you take your shin and you kick me between the legs oh take your left hand wrapping around my head you try to get right in that eye socket there okay the right hand right here you're gonna twist and you're gonna pull right there boom and there's the take down and so this is one of many moves that you guys have here for people to learn the knowledge not necessarily to just come to earn your belt but to get the knowledge you know, the best fight ever fought is the fight that's never fought. So when I teach you these techniques, it means you already messed up somewhere because you allowed me to get this close. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is teach you how to increase your awareness skills so this guy doesn't get this close. Then we're going to teach you as I start to grab you how to stop me then. That's called protection skills. Then the last is when I get my hands on you. That's self-defense. Self-defense by the very nature of the word means that you are fighting against someone. You're reacting instead of acting. We okay. want you to act first, react last. So what ages can come practice with you guys and where can get, they get more information? We have a Warriors program as young as three to six, family program for kids seven and up, and a teenage and adult program by itself. And they can go ahead and get all that information, CFMAF. Dot com. And military and a veteran, thank you for your service. So, I do need to put those yelling skills to test here, okay? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and put you through the fitness stuff. I need you down on your back. Oh, there you go. Oh, my back? Turn around. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Turn this way, and you're going to grab my ankles. <laughs> Good. And bring your feet up to me. Oh. And we're going to do a thousand. Here we go. 999. Okay. 998. Let's 997. To you guys, I don't know how long I'm not this tired is last. yet. Oh. Then we'll go ahead and we'll mix it up a little and go side to side. Oh. And we'll just keep going until I'm tired. You got to work hard enough to make me sweat. Okay. And then we're back there again. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look how awesome you are. Hurry, Gabby and Matt. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We're going to toss it back to you guys. You got to check on me later because I might just be dead. Uh, Those are no does. joke. Those no, are hard. Not. I'm getting that much work out of the She's spent for the day now, right? She's <laughs> done. From family martial arts to adult self-defense, a local gym is ready to teach you some serious skills. <laughs> Gotta get the claw. Pull it out right there. <laughs> right now, Sarah, live and local at CFMAF Martial Arts and Fitness, where she's working on her black belt. <laughs> is that what that is? There you go. Uh, Sarah, good morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I pulled something. Oh, we better watch out.
Well, got to do some more stretches here. Yeah. Learning a little bit about martial arts. Whatever Whoa. this is, don't learn from me. <laughs> learn from the experts, yeah. Watch out. You got to watch out in here. Isaac Cosley, owner here, thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. So tell us what they're doing behind us right now. You know, we have a couple different ways we teach self-defense. We use static, then we have people pushing us forward, pulling us, going side to side. So right now what they're working is with someone grabbing them by the lapel, forcing them backwards in the many different ways that they can go ahead and stop that attacker. Okay, and so also I wanted to talk a little bit about your techniques here. Sometimes, you know, people be barefoot and also have shoes on. Explain a little bit about that. You know, a lot of schools, of we are not one of those schools. We are someone that respects yesterday's traditions, but we train for today's realities. In the old days, you always have to be in bare feet when you go into someone's dojon, which is their martial arts school, dojo for some places. We believe put the shoes on. Why? Because you're going to be outside. That's today's reality. So we have people get out of your geese, get out of your dough bucks, get out of your uniform, come in your everyday clothes, and we're going to teach you how the martial arts techniques okay. can be transferred to real world. And so tell us the importance of this reality-based training. You know, reality based is very important because oftentimes what you're taught inside of a regular traditional martial arts school doesn't translate over to the real world. We're okay. going to take away the fluff and we're going to teach you the cool stuff. <laughs> and so we have people that have trained here all the way from your wife over here for 14 years oh, to yeah. uh, people training for even just one. Oh yeah, we have a young lady over there in a black and red uniform. She started at three, she's now 14, so she's been with us 11 years. So age is not a difference. Our oldest one here right now is 78. So you can't find a reason why not to train. You have to find a reason to train, which would mean loving yourself, loving your family, learning how you can get home to the people you love. And of course, earlier we talked about your military background. So tell yes. us a little bit about how that plays into your training here. You know, in the military, we had to learn to train even when we didn't want to. You get up early even when we didn't want to. We would train, train, and then train again, right? Train, train, and train. That's right. The whole time we were doing that, we were putting together the three Ps. The pursuit of perfect practice, which then leads to better execution. So we take those concepts, we bring them in here, we're going to make you work. This is a workout, not a sleep in. Ooh, yeah. So make sure to get your sleep at home. Come in here, get ready to train and work out. And we wanted to show a beginner move too, uh, so people don't have to feel intimidated. Right? Yeah, that's right. This is a little more intermediate and advanced things. So we're going to talk about a door being open and a door being shut when somebody grabs you with one or the other. If I grab your wrist, the door is shut, so you got to learn how to open it. But if I'm grabbing you in your throat, the door's open, so all you have to do is exit the door. Out. Look how easy this is, guys. <laughs> people get, he's choking me and I couldn't breathe. The door's open, go to the weak side of the hand, okay. turn your shoulders, you're out. But here's the question. They'll say it's two hands on your throat. What uh -oh. do you do? Now you're going to raise your hand like you're waving to someone down the street. Let's use this one for the audience there. There you go. You step okay. back with the opposite leg and just turn your body. Got You've it. exited out the door. You can now breathe. You don't have to panic. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're awesome. And like you You're said, welcome. train, train, train. That's what we're going to do all morning long. We got you. <laughs> Craig and Abby, I'm... By the end Groove of this into class, the music. You're gonna earn that white belt. <laughs> I'm gonna earn it. My dancing. The table. door's open, Sarah. The door's I don't open. I remember so much dancing in martial arts. Uh, well, she brings a whole new aspect to it. This is a new it. style. This is a new belt she's gonna get. Yeah. Hey, whoever you're, you're boxing there, you're fighting. Up in here. You're doing. You're kicking butt. Get, you're gonna get it. <laughs> you're gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sarah. Up and take a name. Yeah. Sean <laughs> better watch it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, time now. It is us. And looking to pick up some new skills in. 2022. How about martial arts and self-defense? So right now, Sarah, live and local at CFMAF Martial Arts and Fitness, where she's putting the mess in Don't Mess With Me. Sarah, <laughs> good morning. That's right. Don't mess with me, Craig and Abby, because I'll give you a little bit of that. Uh, a little bit of that. Oh. I'll give you a little bit of that. Oh. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're learning all the expert <laughs> techniques here with the owner, Isaac Costley. Thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. Of course. So tell us a little bit about what we're learning now. Okay, so we transition now over to where, you know, when people come into me, they flip out. Why? Because they see that we're <laughs> flipping people out. Ah, so we're see what you did there. Them. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to teach you today how to throw, but even more importantly, how to fall. Because okay. the more reality thing is, on ice in Colorado, we're going to slip and fall. So we're going to teach you how to put somebody into the fall to hurt hurt them if they don't know how to fall, but how we fall correctly so we can be safe. Got it. So what are some of the uh, techniques that you guys use here to make sure that you fall correctly? All right. So I'll show you. You can hold my hands okay. here. She's putting all her weight into my hands. Take this leg cross over. Oh, and here? Put it, that's okay. it. And take it off the ground. 
Yep, okay. there you go. And now you're just going to squat down like a pistol squat. Keep going. I got you. Keep your hands here. Keep going. Keep going. The further you go. There you go. Fall out to the side. And you just learn how to do a side fall. Got it. Okay. The, the fear that we have when falling is the height. So if we take away the fear of the height by having a partner here, I'll allow you to get close to the ground, teach you the entry level of the fall. After a while, these guys start from here and they just jump into the air and do the same landing. And you said you actually used this technique when you slipped and it actually saved you from hurting yourself. Yeah, we came out of the theaters. It was icy. I slipped on the concrete. My feet was in the air. I hit and landed. The manager, everything ran out thinking I was going to sue them. Not going to happen. I was fine. Now, the next couple of days, I had bruises up my arm, down my back, down yeah. my leg. But that means I felt correctly because I dispersed the energy so my entire body took the shock of the fall. Okay. And right. so we have another fall here that we're going to try. Yeah, you know, we're going to try another one here. I'm going to teach you. So if somebody grabs you, how do you fall? <laughs> right? So I have you falling <laughs> Don't correctly. do it better than others, I as we can see. <laughs> I always love when a beautiful woman falls for me. You know what I mean? So I kind of like that. See what I did there? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to teach you how to do that. Oh. I have you here. You're going to step inside my legs. Good. Kay. Put your arm around me. Step back with this leg. Good. Kay. That's it. And now your hips are down low. You're going to pop up your hips, pull, and pull me over. Oh, <laughs> snap, crackle, and pop. <laughs> Ow. Oh, oh, no. Are you okay? Good job. Craig <laughs> and Abby, you got to come down here. Do a little bit of throwing. Throw yeah. Falling. And I think I just a little new pop my right back. Watch Just back. watching yeah. that, right? Yeah. Uh, you're doing Cobra yeah. Kai. You're being aggressive there, Sarah. This is great. A little karate. Whoa! Yeah. Karate kid. Ha! Ha! Good stuff. If I, if I saw that coming, I'd turn and run. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't want to see it in person, so just spare I, yourself that. I believe sure. that. Oh, my gosh. All right, Sarah, thank you. You have to displace the weight, right? Yes. Matt, that's what they're saying. When you fall, that's displace right. the weight. It all comes down in one spot. That's yeah. when things break. That's mm. right.